my channel, I will be showing you guys how I highlight and contour my face with the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. Um, I used to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Contour, and I've heard such great reviews from the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. And I really prefer this one more. This palette is just so amazing. I am actually getting my color to my face back because the Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Contour Palette, it made me more red. So I look more darker than usual. So when I tried this out, I fell in love with it. Um, the only thing is that the actual brush that comes or that's supposed to go with it does not come with the palette. So this brush is $36 and the palette is like 40 something dollars. So um, I only needed to spend like $18 to become VIB with Sephora. So I just bought the brush to go with the palette because it only made sense. I don't like using all these different products with the same brush because I feel like you're not going to get the same results or whatever. So yes. Um, and the palette, I did not actually spend $40, spent like half that because shout out to my best friend, which she's just going to remain nameless right now, but shout out to my best friend. She, um, gave me a Sephora gift card for Christmas, so I got $20 off this and my Smashbox primer because I needed some more, so shout out to you, you know who you are, thank you so much, I love this palette. Excuse me, and I'll <laughs> show you guys how I highlight and contour with this palette. It um comes with the mirror and all that. I really love the packaging. I love the way this came. It's like a little coffin, and then you just like oh, you just pop that open, and this is the brush. This is the light in and this is the shade in so you highlight with this in you contour with this in so and I just thought this little coffin case was so adorable and shout out to Kat Von D because she is it right now like I'm loving her products so I will be buying more from her and let's just get right into this video mm. okay so I am going to be showing you how I contour and highlight my face using the Kat Von D Shade and Light palette. And this is just what it looks like. As you can see, the center one already hit pan. Um, so this is Lucid. The middle shade is Lyric. Um, this lighter shade is Levitation. Then you have Sombre, Shadow Play, and Subconscious. So, for my highlights, um, I usually use Lyric, but lately I've been mixing Levitation and Lucid together to do my highlight. And for my contour, I use Sombre, which is the darkest, um, which is the darkest color in the palette. So, here is my Kat Von D Shade and Light contour brush it comes in this little coffin shape case i really thought was cute and very different and so this is the light part so this is what you're going to use to highlight and this is the shade part and you're going to use this to contour so first we're going to grab the light in and i'm just going to go ahead and just use lyric so i'm gonna just brush lyric on my brush and I'm going to go up my nose. You want to highlight on your high points. So it'll be like your like your T-zone, which will really be your nose, this part, your forehead, your temples, your um your cheekbones, uh your underneath your jawline where you're gonna contour, your cupid's bow, and your chin. But that's from my shape of the structure of my face so if you have a different face structure just google um a face chart for highlight and contour and see how you should highlight and contour your face for your face structure if you have a circle face an oval face a heart shaped face those different types of face structures so now i'm just going to highlight my 
high cheekbone. I was about to say my cheeks, but yeah, that too. And I really like the Kat Von D Contour Palette better than the Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Contour because one, this has more gray undertones and the Anastasia Beverly Hills has a red undertone so it makes you look really, really red. And I'm yellow so it makes me look darker than what I should be. And just kind of want to like go through your face and just kind of try to blend as much out as possible. And I just kind of like circle motion it and just, you know, kind of try to blend everything out. Now I'm going to take Sombre and start my contour. So for my contour, I kind of suck my cheeks in so I can get that underneath the so I can get that nice chiseled line underneath my highlight so you see where like my my sideburns are that's where I'm going to contour so suck your cheeks in I just take the side of the brush and just brush upward And then kind of bring it at an angle. And I bring some of that color inward to my face. And I just circle motion it and I just brush. And then I just kind of dab, 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 dab. <laughs> and bring that into my highlight to add some color to my forehead to make my forehead appear smaller because y'all see your girl got a five head i'm just saying so we're just going to continue to bring in that color to the face Contour underneath your jawline to create that shadow to bring your face and make it more chiseled. Like that. And I'm going to go back in with Lyric and go underneath my jawline <clears throat> to create a more precise line and more chiseled look. Maybe you don't even feel If heaven's so far away from here Then why does it feel so near? I believe in angels Levitation, which is the lightest color on the palette, and just to make it more of a shadow, more precise underneath. So as you can see, my cheekbones and everything is brought in. Oh, I forgot to contour my nose, so let me show y'all how I snatched this nose, okay? So, I'm going to go back in with Sombre. And we're just going to... Ugh, I used the wrong side. Okay. And we're just going to follow that bone line. As you can see where my brow starts, that's where I want to start my contour. You want all lines to be parallel to each other. Push that in here. Okay. 
a little more highlight. And there you have it. So now I usually just um, take my foundation brush and whatever leftover product or whatever's on it. I just like buff it out to and do a sweeping motion to blend everything out. And you say you don't have wings. Well, I say you do. Your final look should look like so you should just look really natural everything should look like a shadow that's the whole purpose of the Kat Von D shade and light palette the gray is a like a shadow undertone so it doesn't look too harsh it's easy to blend out so this is what it looks like and that is my highlight and contour um Usually after I do this, I do my makeup and then I use my gold deposit by MAC um, Mineralized Skin Finish. I use this as a highlight in the same areas that I use for my highlight and I use the Pixie Petra um, Bronzer in Summertime to contour. So, and then I just add my foundation and I am done. So this will be my next step. But since I have another video to do, I will show you guys, you know, in that video, my next step to this look. So I will see you guys next time. Bye. Oh, yeah.